What's going on everybody? This is Blockchain Bowls and today we're going to talk about good old Cardano and the price action that we're seeing and is it too late to consider investing in Cardano? First and foremost, this is not professional financial advice. Always do your own research and this is just entertainment and information. So let's go ahead and talk about the things that you need to know. So first and foremost, yes, I did actually buy Cardano here within the last 24 hours around about the uh, right around here. Uh, yeah, around about this point right here, 21, 22 cents, currently sitting at 25 cents. So it, I, you know, I was a little bit concerned because I took my Bitcoin profits and I put it into uh, Cardano and I was trying to justify it. And I was like, oh man, because it's really hard to break, break off of your Bitcoin. You know, you're like, man, I, Bitcoin's got so much potential and I'm going into this other coin and you know, you like to see your full Bitcoins, right? Like it's really hard to have a full Bitcoin. So when you got it, parting ways with it is tough, but my logic and my mind overcame my emotions, right? Because you never want to get emotionally attached to anything when you're an investor, because you've got to make be your best judgment calls. And I felt like in this case, it was a good time to fork my Bitcoin profits into Cardano at this price. Uh, you know, both have been kind of pegged to each other. I mean, you could see uh, the Bitcoin price. It's really ran in parallel with it. But I think at some point in time, Bitcoin may slow down and Cardano's due for a uh, meteoric kind of rise. I think at some point the, the excitement's really going to just kind of break it free. And we've seen <clears throat> Cardano overall at some point in time, just to show you, uh, it was $1.21. Now, the thing that makes Cardano so interesting as a project, that's what we really need to talk about and why I decided to uh, take profits. You can see it's still going up. It started out at 17%. 18%. Now, when you're when you're getting into a position, you don't typically want to chase it when it's going to the moon. But then again, sometimes you do want to get in while it's got that upward momentum. And again, a lot of this just depends on whether or not we stay bullish. If this market doesn't uh, continue to be bullish, then you're you know you're not going to be too happy with your investment. But if the market continues to be bullish, at some point in time, Cardano is going to get a ton of love. So these are things you have to make a judgment call on. Like I said. I know what y'all are going through because I had to make that decision here earlier myself. So let's talk about Cardano. But before we do, if this is your first time to blockchain bowls, you guys can subscribe, keep up with us, and uh, also follow us on Twitter. So hopefully we see you guys over there. We got lots of videos for you guys to explore. So when I'm looking at Cardano, I want to know what's up the roadmap. They got these really interesting names, Byron, <clears throat> Shelley, Gogan, Basho, Voltaire. You know, those are guys like out of Europe, right? These are like old names from uh, Europe. Voltaire, isn't he like a Frenchman, right? I just am curious why they chose those names, but they did. So what is Cardano? Cardano is a groundbreaking, a groundbreaking proof of stake blockchain network being developed in a decentralized application, a DAP. So anytime you see something saying DAP, it's decentralized application development platform with multi-asset ledger and verifiable smart contracts. If you guys come onto this roadmap here, you can watch this for for a dry um, mathematic kind of scientific mathematics uh, approach. Charles Hoskinson does a pretty good job of being engaging, considering how dry the material is. But basically, what he's working on here is interoperability, scalability, and sustainability. I mean, those are basically the things that he's going to tell you. At the end of the day, that's that's at the crux of what they're building. Interoperability allows cross blockchain inter interactions. So it's like uh, Ethereum and Polkadot. They, that's how come you're able to actually buy some of these other coins, ERC20 tokens from Polkadot on Uniswap, right? Like I've got a couple, I got Polkastarter, for example, Uniswap. So yeah, uh, interoperability, that's the big thing. That's a big word that's coming up in 2021 and late into 2020, you were hearing a lot about that, right? So another thing to keep in mind here, as we're looking at the chart for Cardano and uh, the trends, so I would put it up against Cardano, Ethereum, Polkadot. You could even add one more Cosmos, but you know, I don't know if that's gonna get confused with like, I don't know, a Neil deGrasse speech or something, but you could see Ethereum really starting to pick up. And this wasn't the case for a long time because uh, Bitcoin was running away with the show, but typically what ends up happening, as we all know, 
Bitcoin takes off. See, look at, I mean, you saw Ethereum was taken off with it, but look how high Bitcoin is. Well, when Bitcoin goes up, then you see this like uh, interest in all coins start to pick up, like you see Ethereum here. And then if we remove Bitcoin, which was obviously running away with it right here, now you have <clears throat> Ethereum, right? Well, Ethereum starting to get some of that carryover, but you must think at some point the institutional uh, carryover will come also, but mostly the retail investor, they're going to love Cardano at the price point that it's at. I mean, you know, with XRP going through everything that it's gone through, and I'm not saying that Cardano's uh, immune to that, especially if the, new, if, the, if the news from the SEC turns really sour against XRP, that would be really tough for Cardano. Uh, Cardano would actually have to kind of, you, you know, you'd have to really wonder what's going to happen to that one. So uh, all these people cheering and hoping for a, a complete demise of XRP, uh, be careful what you wish for. But you can't really compare Cardano because Cardano does a lot more than what XRP does as a currency. There's a lot more to it, uh, such as the staking reward, the staking with the Daedalus wallet or the Exodus wallet, which we'll go over later in this video but also the decentralized application developer platform and all that, that they're building where you're going to be able to build projects on. So there's a utility being able to build projects on that blockchain. So back to the roadmap. Now that we've gone over all this, you could see, uh, well, we'll let's just remove Cardano here. So you or uh, Ethereum here. So you can really see Cosmos. Like I said, I think that's because, of the news related to a variety of different cosmos in the constellations. So it's not really, but you could consider cosmos uh, an interesting play because it is also a decentralized application developer platform, just not as interesting as Polkadot, Cardano, Ethereum. But then when it comes down to it, look at this. Polkadot is really starting to catch up fast. Cardano, um, you know, I think the news with Cardano is going to pick up. I actually am buying both of these right now. I've been buying both of these dollar cost averaging for the last who knows how long. I mean, I've been really loading up on Cardano pro probably for the last few years. But uh, Polkadot in particular here in the last month and a half. So I've watched my, my balance on Polkadot go up pretty nice, you know, buying under $5. But anyway, this is a Cardano video. So let's talk about roadmap a little bit more in detail so one of the things they're doing that makes them so slow to get out of the gates whereas like there's projects actually being built on polka dot right now cardano doesn't really have too many projects that are even in the woodworks right now they're really slow to market because of this one thing they're basing it all on peer-reviewed academic research so instead of rushing to market with all this stuff they're really going through it like he even talks about it in this video how they what they're doing is they're coming up with, they're writing the paper, then they're having someone else review it, and then they're kind of like coming to a consensus on it and then revisiting that. And so they keep building on the research there. But, you know, you don't want to get so stuck in the mindset of, that's one thing that actually does concern me, is they're too, it's like, are they, are they what is it, procrastinating too much to where they're too, too slow to actually produce anything because they're stuck in this whirlwind of like, timid, timid behavior. So whereas polka dot, they're like, yeah, we're going to get our hands dirty. We're going to get in the trenches. We're going to fail. And we're going to get, if we get knocked down, we're going to jump back up again and we're going to ultimately win. And, and so Cardano is a project that's kind of sticking to its laurels on the sense that like very peer reviewed, like kind of circling the wagon a few too many times, like a little too academic, but at the same time that could work out if they stick to the plan, which ultimately becomes they're no longer academic based. They're actually producing real world results. And so when you're investing in Cardano, you're basically saying, well, I hope all this education and all this research ultimately ends up paying off for an outstanding product. Because what happened was with Ethereum, you know, the technology's advanced. Now they've got to roll out ETH2, Layer 2, all these different things. It's kind of like Bitcoin, you know, it's so slow. They had to add on uh, Lightning Network. Well, they don't want to end up in that situation where they, they build this blockchain, but then all of a sudden, you know, it's no longer technologically sound and it can't really adapt and, and be modified and grow it's kind of what Ethereum is bumping into. So these are the things that make Cardano kind of interesting, but also kind of questionable. So you have to basically come to the conclusion when you're looking at buying Cardano, and this is a decision you can make. I've already told you I bought here recently, but this is a decision you got to make. 
Is all of this peer-reviewed academic research going to ultimately pay off for Cardano in the long run? Or are they just going to continue to use that as an excuse for why nothing's really launching there? Meanwhile, Polkadot runs away with it. I mean, you can already see Polkadot coming out of nowhere, right? I mean, there might be other trends driving the word Polkadot, whereas Cardano doesn't have as much search activity for any other operative words. Polkadot could be like, I don't know, someone's searching for polka dot dresses or polka dot socks or who knows. But I'm pretty, I'm pretty confident this is the cryptocurrency polka dot here that's driving this uh, search result. But you can see polka dot is really surging and you can even see it in the price charts here, the price action. I mean, polka dot already in price discovery, they're at all time highs. I mean, once it goes over $10, I think last couple of days it reached over 1030, 1040. It's funny because it sounds like this is a polka dot kind of endorsement, but at the end of the day, they're both very comparable. I mean, polka dots actually taken the lead on Cardano. So um, you, you must wonder at some point, maybe they'll pass XRP unless XRP uh, produces a miracle. Who knows? But anyway, just wanted to make this video. That's where I stand on it right now. This is not the case isn't closed on where we're going with this. You got to remain flexible in cryptocurrency. You can't get married to any project can't be scared to take profits and fork it into other coins like you saw what I did with Bitcoin into Cardano because I think the upward trajectory for Cardano is going to outpace Bitcoin here in the next, I'll give it a 30 day window, but I'm also not scared to give it a seven day window. But I also don't want to be the guy who panic sells and gets fidgety, but you know, it's one day at a time in cryptocurrency, isn't it? So anyways, guys, thanks for watching and uh, keeping up with us. Look forward to seeing you guys in the comments and on the next video. So we'll see you guys.